Well, hello. Good to see you again. I thought maybe today we would talk about the subconscious mind. And I want to talk about intuition. And I want to talk about the universal mind. And I might sneeze. I feel it coming. So don't be surprised if that doesn't happen. Um, but these three things are very much related. And I want to pull information together that will um, benefit you in the way you search for your intuition and your spiritual gifts. Um, many, many years ago, uh, when Charles and I first got together, his sister recommended a book. And it is called Three Magic Words, written by U.S. Anderson. And we got it, and we started reading it, and it's written um, in the early 1900s, say 1940, 1950. So it was much more formal writing. It took a while for us to get familiar and comfortable with the way this man wrote. And the information that he brought in that book was so full I mean, each paragraph was packed with aha moments and, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. And um, it was just very overwhelming to try and read too much at one time. So we sat down every evening and read out loud. Um, and we stopped every paragraph or two and then discussed what was in that text. Three magic words. Um, is finding out how the subconscious mind works uh, in our being. You know, we have the subconscious, the conscious, and the higher self, or the superconscious. And um, it describes those three levels, but really concentrates on the subconscious. Now, that book, we have recommended to so many people over the years that we ended up giving books away. And I, I end up, every time I see one, um, a used book for 2 or $3 on Amazon, I'll just buy them and keep them because we would pass them out so often. Uh, that's the kind of book I just don't expect to get back because I know how intense it is. And I expect people to to read it over and over again, and we still continue to read it. But the subconscious mind is the thing that keeps us trapped in a lot of our experiences. It, ex it expects things to happen because of the way we have reacted to life and reacted to thoughts and ideas and concepts. Um, and so there's a very large explanation about all of that in this book. Now let's fast forward um, to more recent times when Don Miguel Ruiz wrote a book called The Four Agreements. He also talks about the subconscious mind and how it traps us. Um, each author uh, brings tools to use to access uh, a freedom of those, those traps. U.S. Anderson calls them prompters. Um, uh, and uh, Ruiz will uh, use more story form in his book. Um, it's easier to digest, probably. But um, it kind of depends on where you're at and what you want to learn. Um, but both books are excellent in explaining this. So there's a lot to learn about uh, the subconscious mind. Uh, but Dr. Or maybe Dr. Well, maybe he is a doctor. Anderson, Mr. Anderson will talk about 
this, I mean, I'm calling it the subconscious mind, but he refers to it as the universal mind. And Carl Jung will, uh, he talks about it as well, and, and I think he calls it something similar to that. I, I can't remember right now, but um, the universal mind is the part that connects us with all other energies, all other frequencies or vibrations, everything in the universe, hence the word universal mind, um, is part of this collective. And, and you know, they say that uh, we are all one. Well, people don't always understand what that means to the fullest extent, but when you start to think about all of us having subconscious mind interlinked or woven together or being able to access as one mind, then you start to recognize we really do exist as a whole, as one. And if we do, if we have access to that universal mind, that we have access to everything there is. Um, I think a lot of people tend to call this uh, the Akasha. Um, and so people will give Akashic record readings or access the Akashic record. To me, that's what the universal mind is. That's the link of all the subconscious minds on all levels. Um, so we're able to see what happened in the past, what's happening now, all the options that are available at the moment, and then what's going on in the future, because all of these um, collectives are together. Um, all of the parallel universes are one. Um, they just are in different sections or uh, places. And so if you recognize this, then you know that your intuition, the way you access spirit, um, your psychic abilities, all of these things are brought through the subconscious mind, that universal oneness, that link that we have. So... I've brought information um, uh, in your class that will help you kind of put these pieces together. Um, there's uh, information from Sonia Choquette, who I first looked at an article that she wrote many years ago that talked about intuition. And she says that uh, intuition is accessing the subconscious and looking at and recognizing or pulling together pieces that fit in a logical manner and uh, bring about an answer for you. Um, so if you're asking a question in an intuitive way and you're wanting an answer, then your subconscious mind goes rolling around and trying to access things that you've experienced in your life to bring about an answer for you, a logical answer for you. And uh, so to me, that was sidestepping access to spirit. And I didn't quite jive with the, the definition that she gave. But when I start thinking about it now, I look back at what subconscious really is. And it's not just our own experiences that we delve into and, and formulate uh, an answer. It's collecting universal information in our subconscious to bring about an answer. So it makes sense. So I've included an article, I think, that um, addresses that as well as the one that I read. I, I don't remember exactly. I think it was from a magazine that I originally read. But the, the article I'm bringing to you by her, uh, I think, will address that aspect. Um, 
and I'm also sending um, some supportive uh, content that talks about these two books, uh, the concepts of these two books that I think will make sense to you along with um, the meditations that Mr. Anderson includes in some of uh, his chapters. Um, but, but these, the thing that uh, Don, Miguel, Don Miguel Ruiz suggests as a, an antidote to these prompters, these things that, you know, you don't want to be poor, but poor just keeps coming back into your experience. So there's a prompter somewhere saying that you're poor and you don't have enough and you can never get money. It doesn't grow on trees and such. And so there's all these things that keep us from doing the things that we consciously really want to do. The subconscious is protecting us in some way, maybe mistakenly, but it is doing the job that it's supposed to do. So it's up to us to recognize these areas that we want to change. So the, the four agreements that he comes up with are to be impeccable with your word. And I discuss this a lot. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this book or have read it. Um, the other one is don't take anything personally. Another one is don't make assumptions. That one was big for me. And always do your best. So these two, don't take anything personally and don't make assumptions. Those two um, agreements really changed who I am and the way I look at other people and the way I, that they look at me, the way I see them looking at me. So these four agreements are the things that Ruiz is saying will counteract what the subconscious has locked in. So, so once we start practicing these agreements, on a regular basis and you know as they say the more you do something the more it takes over and it becomes uh, your habit or your your good karma uh, so to speak so the more you work on these and the more you believe them and the more they become part of your subconscious they block out all the things that are keeping you poor keeping you unsuccessful not allowing love in your life or whatever it is that seems to be knocking you down so um, U.S. Anderson also has different things. It's mostly uh, an understanding of what the subconscious is and the meditations that he has at the end of each chapter that uh, help to resolve those issues. Uh, they help you to understand what's really happening and um, who you really are. So the, the title of the book, three magic words you, you read through the book you read through the book and you think what is it what is it what is it what are those three magic words and I have to say the first time I read it I got to a point where I just had to look <laughs> I went to the back to see what those three magic words were in essence it has to do with us all being one um, he chooses the word God and he says I am God and if he had started the book with that, a lot of people would have put it down because they would have said that was sacrilegious. Um, me, I truly believe I am God. And I know that I am connected with all there is and that I am in charge of my own destiny. So the more I can implement these uh, remedies, these four agreements and the meditations that U.S. Anderson has, the more I can do that, the more powerful of a goddess I can be and more powerful in my own destiny. And the stronger I can access my guides and the spirits that work with me. So these are the things that I feel like are really important to get a really good grounding on right now. So that's why I'm uh, bringing this information to you. Uh, <clears throat> 
So I didn't include all the meditations. They are rather lengthy. There are um, four that go along with Don Miguel's uh, agreements. I like the way that those two books uh, interlace. Um, one is for the intellectual part of us and one is for the, the more homey, heart-driven part of us. But the two work in tandem and I, I really think you're going to enjoy sifting through this information and, and putting it into practice. There's things that you can do a um, little bit at a time and not have to just feel like I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this. It's something that uh, will grow within you and become part of your life. And I think you'll start seeing how things shift in your favor because of what you're doing with this particular lesson. Not only do you start changing what's going on in your life and taking more charge of your destiny, but you're also getting a stronger connection with your spirit guides and those that are working with you in your spirit gifts. So the stronger that is, the more you access the universal subconscious mind, then the more you're going to be available to connect with your guides. And that's what this is all about. This is our way of connecting and, and getting a stronger connection with them. So I'll include a, a meditation of my own, as I normally do. And I wish you all the best to this beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you.